Hey collective. Welcome to my channel, Divine Issue Tarot. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all of my subscribers, my viewers. Mom, uh, thank you for all of the comments, the likes, the shares, and thank you for the donations. Okay, collective. Collective, this is going to be an Earth Science reading towards Capricorn Virgo. We're going to see what's going on with you and your person. Um, I am back in a room that has the shaky table, so please forgive me, but we're going to get through this. It's going to be okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Collective. Let's go ahead and get started and see what's going on with you and your person, Earth Signs. I hope everybody is doing wonderful. I hope everybody is blessed and having a wonderful, awesome day. Let's get to it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Thank you for allowing me to channel. Oh, that's shaky, shaky, shaky. Excuse me. Messages from the divine through the tool of tarot for the highest good of the collective. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will send clear, precise messages through my archangels, my spirit guides, and my ancestors of love and light. And Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll protect my energies and the energies of the collective as we open ourselves up to receive these messages in love and truth. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you, I praise you, and I thank you. Amen, amen. Shalom, shalom. All right, let's go. Earth signs, let's see what's going on with you and your person. Let's get a, you know what? Let's save those. Let's get an overall energy. Let's get an overall energy. I do not like this shaky shit. Get on my nerve. But we gonna rock with it though. Please forgive me, but we gonna rock with it. Cause I'm not setting up nowhere else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, collective. Yes, this is what I wanted to tell you too. If you want to book a reading with me, I only book through Instagram because that's where the readings happen. We do live chat. So if you're interested in booking a reading with me, the readings are $55.55. I only take Cash App. Now, if you do want to book, follow me on IG at divinely underscore true underscore tarot. That's where I book at. I do not book on Facebook and I do not book through YouTube. I'm getting a website set up so where I can do all my bookings through there. But in the meantime and in between time, we got to do it through IG. Okay. All right. Let's go. Holy Spirit, what is the overall energy of Earth Science person? Okay, we got it. Look at there. Look at that awareness. That mm, crown chakra lit. That's the magician energy in this deck. Somebody trying to manifest you because they, who, yeah, third eye. They manifest you because they now see the truth of you. They see your truth. They see who you are. They see that you are, I'm hearing, not of this world. Okay. Okay. They see the beauty of you. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yep. Look at them. Harmony. This is the lover's energy, Gemini energy, and new vitality. See, I told you, now they see you. Now they see your worth. Now they see your beauty. And now that they see that you're not of this world, okay? So the plastic chakra, will, this is the will of life, the, the, the emotion energy. Um, so the plexus chakra is your will, your desires, your, you know, your theme of life is what I'm getting. Or that's the best way I can explain it. But, um, yeah, somebody is being drawn to you. They want this new beginning with you because they got an epiphany. Somebody done woke up to who you are. Emotional withdrawal. The eight of cups. They feel as though you left. That you don't want to deal with them no more. That you don't want to have anything to do with them. They feel the loss of you. They could be sitting here praying. Very emotional here. Yeah. For some of you guys, your person turns your back. Turns their back on you. Earth signs, and now they're sitting here in the loss of you, wanting it back. Mm. Could be a water sign, could be an air sign, could be a Gemini, could be an Aries. Okay, but you know, hey, if they turn their back on you, and now they feel the emotional withdrawal of you, because see, look, collective, when they turn your, when they turn their back, you're in chase. Oh no. Not, not, not these earth signs I'm picking up on. They let their back. <laughs> they let them keep their back turned. And now they feel the loss of you. All right. Well, then, shit. Let's go. Holy Spirit, what message do you have for my earth signs? 
So it's Capricorn Virgo. Damn, all these want to come out. We'll take those. Let's see if we could get a couple of more. Let's see. Let's see. Uh-huh. I see that. Let's get a few, a couple of more. Let's get a couple of more for my earth signs. Holy Spirit, a lot want to come out. We'll take those too. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it, Holy Spirit. Holy Angels, thank you. Ooh, earth signs, you need to watch out for this one. Mm-hmm. They want that old thing back is what I'm hearing, but you need to watch out for them. It's making me feel like with this magician energy, this is also, too, giving me somebody that want to manipulate energy here. Uh-huh. The person was scared to fall in love, and now the trust is gone, and they will not reach out because what? They're feeling the shame. They know that it broke your heart. Now they're all in their feelings, and they're scared of what's to come. They just want this pain to stop. Because you started focusing on yourself. They want to come back home. But this relationship is done, done. This is how your person is feeling. And now they're receiving bad luck, bad karma. Why? I don't know. We're going to find out. They know that your love is true. Okay? And your person want to move in together or move back in together or something of the sort. Because now they done broke up with the third party. They done broke up with the third party because they realize you're the best thing that ever happened to them. And now misery loves company. But you over here sitting <clears throat> in peace. Peace of mind. Because you know that they're for the streets. And your person wants you to unblock them. Because they're feeling alone in this connection. Because there is no contact. And now people is talking shit about them. But losing you. And that's for real, for real. This is why you need to watch out for this one. This one is feeling regret and remorseful. Feeling ashamed is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling their shame too. Yep, I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Okay. Well, let's see. What's going on? Ooh, don't be paying my cards. No, be careful. All right, so, earth signs, let's see what's going on. Ooh, your person not that bright. Spiritually, emotionally, or mentally. That's the first energies out. They changed on you. They thought they could do better than you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They ghosted you for some of you. And for others, you ghosted them because they changed. Yeah, they were gaslighting you to the fullest. This is how come they changed on you. It's making me feel like it was another energy here. They thought that they could have a new relationship, a better relationship with something of the sort. This is the reason why they changed their, or turned their back on you, changed their mind too. Yep, they changed on you because they really thought that they could do better elsewhere. But they broke up with that third party as we've seen in the pre-read. Now they want that old thing back. Mm, mm, mm. They was keeping their options open, okay? This third party that they broke up with is now jealous of you, Earth signs. Yeah. Separation. They jealous of you because your person separated from this third party. And now, and now your person wants that old thing back with you. Now I got the, the third party all in their feelings and shit. Mm-hmm. Earth signs, you know what's best for you. Now you're keeping your options open. Mm. Your person really didn't care about this connection until they lost you. They really didn't care about this connection until they found out that it wasn't going to work with this third party over there. And now they want that old thing back. Playing fucking mind games and shit. Mm. Well, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. And they over here trying to manifest you. Because they got an epiphany about you. But these are some challenging times for them because you moved on, okay? Eight of cups, eight of cups. And now prosperity begins for you, especially with an emperor energy. You took the lead on the course of your path when it came to your person turning their back on you and walking away. You was like, okay, fuck it. I'm going to turn my back too. That's for some of you. And you did. And you're not looking back. Third party jealous of you. Playing mind games and shit. Ghosted. Your person ghosted this third party. Oh, 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 oh. This is what I'm hearing. For some of them, the third party ghosted your person. Yep, with this separation. Playing mind games and shit. Mm -hmm. Baby, that's facts. Okay. What can you tell me about they're not that bright? 
Holy Spirit, this is why you need to watch out for this one. Because this, your person got ghosted by the third party. For some of you and for others, your person ghosted the third party because they want to come back to you because this third party didn't live up to what they thought they was going to have with the third party. Okay. What can you tell you about they not that bright? That, yep, they not that, they not that emotionally bright or spiritually. What's this? Too many setbacks. They have too many setbacks and that's a hell yes. They don't want you to do this. But you got checkmate. Got them. Hmm. Yeah. Ever since they changed up on you for this third party right here, yeah, they, they're experiencing a lot of setbacks and losses. What can you tell me about they changed on you? Thank you. What do we have here? We have go ahead. What can you tell me about go ahead, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Go ahead, never, and just do it. <laughs> Look, if they changed on you, and, it's, and it won't work. It won't work. That's why the Holy Spirit's like, just go ahead, do whatever it is that you do, because they will never change. They will never change. Once they changed on you, it, 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 they, they can't. It's like once that mask fell off and they showed you their true colors, they can't put that bitch back on. So Spirit is saying, just go ahead and do you, boo. Because this one right here never really had the, I want to say, they never had the, 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 the belief in you in this connection. They always thought that there was something or someone else that is better. And now they're losing everything. Now they're losing everything. Too many setbacks and losses. They're losing everything. Yep, wasting time. Mm -hmm. That's why spirits like just, just do it. Go ahead and just do it because this one changed on you. They never was one hundred with you. They never gave into to this into this connection. No, this is why you're doing what's best for you. As we've seen in the pre-reads, they were scared to fall in love. This is why they were gaslighting you to the fullest. And that gaslighting caused the separation between you two. What can you tell me about ghosted? What can you tell me about ghosted, Holy Spirit? Uh -huh. Ever since you ghosted your person, you have been feeling your, your best, okay? Happy feelings, happy home, deep regrets. Yeah, your person is in deep regrets because they ghosted you. But since they did that shit, you've never been more happier, more at peace. You feel good. It feels like a weight has been lifted when you separated from your person. Happy feelings, happy home. Yep. For some of you, you feeling this way since you ghosted them. And for others, since they ghosted you, you've never been so much happier. Yeah. Mm. What can you tell me about gaslighting to the fullest? What can you tell me about gaslighting to the fullest? We have Leo. Somebody could be a Leo or have it highly aspected in their chart. Lost. Since they were all, since they was gaslighting you to the fullest, her size, they lost. They lost this connection. They lost you. Most high God and karma is playing out in this divine union here. Some of you guys were in a divine union. And okay, and since they was playing games, mind games, and gaslighting you and shit, the most high God had to step out on this divine union and bring in karma. Karma dead sitting dead smack in the middle between the divine union and the most high God. Okay. Especially when they was playing these mind games with this third party. And now it's too late. Now it's too late. This is feeling like a liar here. What can you tell me about keeping their options open? Wasting time. Wasting time keeping their option open, options open. And now they're coming into the awakening of that fact. That's what I said with this magician energy. Somebody got an epiphany. Okay, with this magician energy and the awareness and the third eye. Oh yeah, somebody got an epiphany about who you are to them in this connection. And now they're having challenging times ever since they moved on or you moved on. But this is making me feel like you moving on as well because they, they started this shit 
And you finished it. Message. Mm, mm, mm. What can you tell me about third party going, look, this one fell out in my lap. Let's put that out there. Third party is jealous, jealous of you. Because your person not only was playing mind games with you, Earth Signs, they was playing mind games with this third party. Mm -hmm. But what can you tell me about this third party? Mm. Mm. They thought that they was going to win with this third party here. Until they saw the truth about this third party. And now they're in deep regrets about this third party. What is this? Third party is out of time. They could have started a family or wanted a family with your person, but they found out that they are not the one. And here go this envy. They are highly jealous. This third party is very envious and very jealous of you because your person wants you. And the third party wants your person. And your, and your person said, uh-uh. Your, your person ghosted. Period. Okay. Now, this is a general reading for some of you guys. The party goes to your person, but I'm not really getting that. Not with this envy and jealous. Not, not with this. Mm -mm. I heard they got kicked out the family. Mm. This shit, and now they mad, man. Ooh, shit. Could be dealing with an Aries. This third party, oh, divine timing is at play. Time up. Out of time. This third party was, 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 how should I say? This third party was nothing but a lesson for your person. If this third party was a test for your person and they flunked. This is how come they lost you. This is how come they have it to me setbacks. But now they're coming into an awakening of who you are ever since you moved on. Hmm. What can you tell me about these mind games for earth signs? My babies. So it's Capricorn Virgo. What is this? Uh, no more. Mm -mm. They don't want to play these mind games no more. Something else that's unflipped over here. What's this? Uh-huh. They don't do it. No more other people. No more mind games with other people. They done kicked this third party to the curb because they want that old thing back. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. This Scorpio, no more other people. Time's up for this third party. This is why your person ghosted them. Mm. Now they want that old thing back with this new vitality and harmony. Honeymoon. Damn. Karmic cycle, I told you. This third party was a mistake. This, this, this playing that, these mind games with these other people was a mistake. They said, bring that on out there. Now they're in a karmic cycle and they're trying to run away from this karmic cycle. But it's here now, baby. Uh-uh. Holy Spirit not playing with them. I can't make this up. Holy Spirit not playing with your person for all these mind games. This is why you said do you, boo. This is why Holy Spirit over here said do you. We, we, we got this. This is why you guys are in separation. Hmm. What can you tell me about separation, Holy Spirit? What can you tell me about separation? Please and thank you. What is this? Know thyself. This is why you guys are in separation. Because you know yourself collective and all is well. And now your person is mad, mad. Because all is well is with you. And you know yourself, Earth sign. Go ahead with yourself. You letting this separ separation be final. This is what I'm hearing for some of you guys. This is how come you're moving on and you're walking away. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> they didn't even want <laughs> Somebody didn't want me to tell you that. Okay, your person didn't want me to say that, but that's the truth. Okay, this is why you're doing what's best for you. You letting this separation be final. This is for some of you, not all, okay? What can you tell me about doing what's best for you? You can't even tell me about doing what's best for you. Your person really didn't care about this third party. It's time to heal. That's why you're doing what's best for you. Because it's time to heal. And now your person is worried, stressed, and pressured for you to come back. But there's a fucking, <clears throat> there's a baby mama somewhere. Okay? And if you are this person's baby mama, that's what they want. They want their family back. 
Okay. Let's go. What can you tell me about um, never cared about this? I never cared about this. This is this is making me feel like your person never cared about this third party. Uh uh. Friends, they never cared about these friends. They were friends with benefits. Yeah, now they're trying to get out the situation. This person could have been too young or too young minded for your person. Who else can you tell me about never cared about this? Just do it. Your person, yeah, and love yourself. Your person, and cut off. Your person, let me tell you, they really didn't care about this third party. I don't know why they was fucking with this third party. It started to make me feel like they were trying to make you jealous or they thought that they could do better with this third party. Come to find out they couldn't or they didn't. So now they want to come back home. But they never really cared about this third party. They just saw the potential of what they might could have with this third party and it didn't pan out. It didn't pan out. So now your person is sitting over here like stuck, like chuck. What can you tell me? What your person is saying, Earth Sign? What your person is saying about this mistake that they made from playing all these mind games and this is how they lost you and shit? Mm. What can you tell me about this? I was afraid to lose you. And now they did. This is the first energy out, okay? Your person wished they could be honest with you. But they can't. Because they're afraid that if they really do tell you the whole truth about why they went over to this third party here, they they feel as though they lost you forever. But they just don't know that, baby, you done made your mind up. This is for some of you guys. You're not going back through this with your person. Okay? And this is what they're afraid of. That's why I said earlier in the reading, I feel like a liar here. But we'll see. What is this? I need to figure myself out. Yeah, they do. They need to figure themselves out. Okay? Shit, they have hurt me. So this third party could have hurt your person. This is why they got out of the situation. This is why time is up for, your, for this third party and, and your person, Earth sign. What is this? Okay. I can't promise you anything because they need to figure themselves out. For some of them, they don't even understand why they even did that shit. Mm -hmm. Look, why do I feel this way? They don't even understand. Okay. Why can't I tell you the truth? I told you they was a liar. This feels like a liar here, and they can't tell you the truth because they know if they tell you the whole truth and nothing but the truth, they will lose you. This is what they're afraid of. This is why they need to figure themselves out. Why do they feel this way about you? Why do they even do this shit, okay? The passion I feel is overwhelming, and I don't know how to handle this. They are crying out to you. They want this old thing back, and it's overwhelming them, okay? And they want to know, will this ever change? Will this separation ever change? Because they can't stop thinking about you. They want you. I heard they love you. Wow. Look, if you know, I cut the deck, here we go. Sexual desire. They want that old thing back. They're craving you. Mm, mm, mm. Well, you know, that's what happens. Play stu stupid games, you win stupid uh, prizes. Play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. And this is what's happened when they play them stupid ass mind games. What can you tell me, Holy Spirit? What else can you tell me? Kisses. They blowing you kisses. Kissing you is all that I've been dreaming of. Unconditional, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. See what I mean? They want that old thing back. The old thing that they fucked up. Wow. What else can you tell me? Thank you. Talking. Interested? Conversating more? Awaiting messages to arrive? Call, text, email, hover, and they're waiting for you to reach out. They want to see, they want, they want to know if you still care. But they're waiting for some type of communication. They're waiting for some type of communication. Then we have at the bottom of the deck, X and date. So this new person that they were dating and that they were trying to see if they could have a, a happily ever after with, they cut that ass off. They are not interested in nobody but you. Okay, meeting someone new, broke up in separation. You see what I'm saying? This is why they're desiring you in love call. Okay, for some of you guys, your person is going to express how they feel. For some of you, they're going to reach out to you after waiting for so long for you to reach out to them. They cannot take it. The passion is overwhelming. And with the sexual desire, they want that old thing back. 
Hmm. They do. What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Passion. I can't make it up. Very passionate about this love affair. Very passionate about you. But they thought they could do better. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Every time they think about you, that's what their heart is doing. And they're trying to let go of control issues here. What else can you tell me? I heard they, they're trying to let go of controlling the narrative when it comes to you. What's this? Worth waiting for. You are worth waiting for. This is how your person's feeling. You are worth the wait. Divine timing is working out in your love life. And we're seeing divine timing right here. Things are, are, are panning out the way they're supposed to. Everything that you went through with your person, it was destined to. Because y'all were supposed to learn some type of lesson. Your person was supposed to learn some type, um, pass some type of test. And learn the lessons of that test. This was going on right now. That's why they're in the karmic cycle. Or that's why you guys are in the karmic cycle and the separation here. But this is a divine union. We see now. We have, <laughs> we have release your ex. Coming up in the reverse. It came out like this. I picked it up in the upright. They do not want to release you. They do not want to let you go. And they're trying to keep an open mind about if you can have this new beginning or a reunion with you. Let's get one more. They are not releasing you. They're holding on to you and your energies tight. Here go that heart-to-heart -heart conversation coming out. They want to talk about it. But they know, they, they feel as though they can't tell you the whole truth. They, they feel as though they can't tell you the whole truth. Your person needs to love themselves first. Or this is you, uh, collective uh, earth signs. Yeah. Love yourself first in past life relationship. Yeah. Some of you guys can have a past life relationship with your person. If you're in a divine union, normally you do have a past life relationship or connection. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about the intentions of earth signs person towards earth signs? I pick it up, Princess, Prince of Cups. Some type of love message and offer that they want to give you, but they're not on that horse. They're still drinking the water. Still thirsty for you. Some of you guys could be having a... Uh, some of you guys, a person could have to bring an apology or they want to apologize. What is this? Four of Cups. Three of Swords. Your person feel as though that um, they're going to be rejected because they broke your heart or they're feeling heartbroken. So, therefore, they feel as though you're going to reject them. What can you tell me about this Four of Cups being the first energy out? They're very emotional here. Can we talk about the intentions? They feel rejected by your star. Yeah, they want to heal this because they, they feel emotional, very emotional here, Aquarian energy. And they want to come in with the truth in a brand new beginning. Okay, but then we have this devil here, and this is making me feel like it's a lie. They're going to come rushing back in towards you, bringing this lie, or bringing the truth about some type of toxic connection, toxic situation, something of the sort. They feel bound to you. For some of you guys, um, your person is cutting ties with toxic people or toxic energies as well. Yeah, but they want to come rushing back in towards you because they're heartbroken and they want to heal. Okay. What can you tell me? Road of fortune. Things are changing, moving forward. They want to move things forward with you. Queen of Cups, there's love here. But there's also too jealousy or if somebody wants to win, could be third, damn it, third party jealous here because your person want to move things forward with you. This is why they wanted to cut the, 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 the we seen the ace of swords and the devil, they want to cut toxic ties. Hmm. Very loving. You're very loving, nurturing, and caring. Could be a um, fixed sign here. Taurus, Aquarius, we have strong. Cancer is here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is here. Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius, very strong. 
Leo is here too. Three of Cups, Seven of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're rejecting this third party because they want that Two of Cups back. Yeah. And the Ace of Oh, look at here, look at here. We have the Hangman, the Emperor, and the Empress. This Empress, this Emperor got his back turned towards his, away from his Empress and towards this Hangman energy. This is why they need to get themselves together. This is what I'm hearing. They still need to cut away uh, the third party energy. And I mean the energy, they could cut the person away, but it's making me feel like the third party is hanging on by the fingernails. This is why they're so jealous of you. Thank you for the confirmation. This third party is annoying as fuck. All right, what advice do you have? For the collective, big happy changes when I pick up the deck. What advice do you have for the collective? Please and thank you. Remain positive. Remain positive about the connection. Remain positive and be assertive. So remain positive about your love life is what I'm hearing. Remain positive and be assertive about what it is that you want or need from a connection or a situation that you find yourself in but there's some type of information that you need to get so be assertive about getting more information about what's going on something of the sort something that you're wondering it's giving me a wondering energy some of you guys you're wondering if your person is going to come back wondering do they did they learn their lesson is what i'm hearing what else can you tell me? What advice? In the near future, remain positive. Something is happening in the near future because now is not the right time. We have forgiveness that's coming in. You need to forgive yourself and forgive this person because there's something better that's coming in. And you need to look for a sign for that. Okay? Not the right time. Forgiveness in the near future with this. Again, we have ask help for others. So there could be somebody that is here to help you through this. Help you let go. Because that's a no. But the situation will improve. Because now is not the right time. Because you let go. You need to let go. Um, remain positive and this situation will improve with forgiveness in the near future. But now is not the right time. There's another way or there's something better that's coming in. Or you have to wait for this person to get better. Because this person, you know, they said way back here that uh, they need to figure themselves out why they feel this way. So now is not the right time for you guys to come back together and have this open conversation, this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Because they need to get their shit together first. They need to figure out self first. And then... You guys could come in and talk. And they need to get rid of this third party energy. They could, get, they could have gotten rid of the person, but the person did not get rid of them yet. They still got some fight left in them. So, these are the messages that I have for you, Earth Signs. I'm going to leave it right here. If any of these messages resonated, please drop a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.